And this stuff that is about had it too. Hey y'all. Hey Ken. Ken, I know you coming on here. You've been waiting. Hey y'all. Hey guys. Hey so much. Listen. Hey honey. You I'm about to tell you. I'm about to tell you, Dean. Hey, listen. I just came on here to tell y'all. Thank y'all. I I love y'all so much. And y'all think I'm playing with y'all. I love y'all so much. Now listen now. Hold on, I'm waiting for everybody to come on in the room. Hey. Listen, I just came back from working out, Kirk. That's where I've been. Listen, though, y'all. I do. I love y'all. Because I don't know how many of y'all saw my community post. If you did see my community post, say yes. I know. Delisha, I'm finna get ready to spit it out in a second. I'm finna spit my gum out in a second. But if y'all did see, okay, okay, okay. Listen now, so my community post, let me tell you though, I, I usually don't, I usually don't respond. I usually don't reply to things like that. Like I said, things cons uh, regarding race and conspiracy theories. I usually, I don't, I really don't because I feel like everybody is on their own journey and everybody can find their own way. But it was it, the thing that made me respond. If you guys are wondering is the fact that the commenter said that that is the reason why they wanted to leave the channel. And y'all know, I told y'all plenty of times how much I love y'all. Y'all know the way I feel about you guys. I don't look, you know, I don't know how these other social media people look at people, these YouTubers. I don't know. I don't feel like that. I'm very much a family oriented person when it comes to my followers. So it's fine. It's fine. If anybody wants to leave, that is fine. I just did not want her to have the misconception that I, especially me, and was on any type of agenda or anything like that. I didn't want that. So I wanted to let her know, as well as everybody else, the way that I, the way that I used to be. That person, that was me. I was that. Hold on, y'all. Look at my nails. Ooh. Okay, but anyways, I was that all day long. That is the way that I felt, y'all. I'm telling y'all. And I'm not saying I'm not. I'm not dismissing anything. I'm not saying that any of the information that I learned from hidden colors or anything. I'm not saying it's not true. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that anything is not true. And I'm not saying that people are oppressed. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is that I had to throw that feeling off of myself because I wasn't, it, it, it was hurting me. I wasn't getting anywhere with that information. That's what I'm saying. So that's what happened with me. Yeah, look at my nails, child. Y'all see that? So that's that's what was happening with me. Oh, okay. I'm not I'm not gonna delete it. I'm not gonna delete it. So that's what I'm saying. Like, and but but no, this is the reason I came on here to thank y'all because you know, me writing that, that took a lot of like spirit. You know what I'm saying? That took a lot of whatever out of me because I was like, should I post this? I was like, I don't want to run anybody away, but I also said, you know what, Ashley? You said that you were going to keep it real with your followers. You you said that you were going to be the real you with your followers. And I was like, I know, man, but I really don't want to mess. You know what I'm saying? And then something came out and was like, you know what, Ashley, regardless of if they agree with you or not, if they like you and if they see that you're legit, if they see that you're like real, they'll, they'll, they'll be there anyway. Like they, if they love you enough, they will be there anyway. So that's why I wrote it. I wanted y'all to know like me, the old me, the real me. You know what I'm saying? So that's, and I'm, I'm, oh, oh, and so when I wrote it, listen, y'all, listen, when I wrote it, I put it out there and I was like, oh God, I was like, oh child, what? Lord, ain't no telling what's going to happen next. And I put it out there and I went to the gym. All right. I tried to put it out of my mind. Cause I was like, you know what? Let me just worry about getting this fat off of me and not worry about what's going on over there. So I went to the gym and I came back and when I opened the phone and I went to the comments and I, I, I could not believe how many likes and comments of support. I mean, I couldn't believe it. I was overwhelmed, y'all. Was, I was almost in tears. I'm, I was almost in tears. I couldn't believe it. I, I couldn't believe how much y'all support and like love. I couldn't believe it. I'm so, I'm so grateful for y'all. I'm so grateful. 
y'all uh, y'all didn't see it but anyways if y'all go to the community a lot of folks oh y'all don't even know what's going on i'm over here describing and explaining and about to cry and y'all don't even know what's going on <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing at this serious time, but them folks that were sitting up there talking about some <laughs> it's folks on here talking about I must have missed something. I don't even know what's going on. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but what I'm saying is it took a lot. It's on the community tab. What I wrote, what I wrote, the gist of what I wrote is that I refuse to let oppressed feelings keep me down. That's what I and I'm crying because it was deep for me. Y'all don't remember y'all don't know where I came from. Y'all don't know that. Y'all don't know all those feelings that I had, but I really felt like I couldn't do anything. I felt like I couldn't go anywhere. And I felt like I wasn't gonna ever be anything because I felt like people, the chance that other people had was not there for me. That's the way I felt. And then, like I said, in the in the comment or in the what I wrote in the community tab. Somebody, an elderly black person came to me and they were like, um, you know, you, you can be whatever you want to be. And I was like, no, I can't. I can't be nothing because these folks got their foot on my neck, you know, blah, blah, blah. And they was like, Ashley, listen to me. You don't have to live in poverty. You don't have to live with nothing. You can be what you want to be. Stop blaming people. It's not their fault. And I just, I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't, I felt like that they were, um, I can't say the word on here, but Uncle Tom's. I felt like they were Uncle Tom's. I felt like, you know, they had been brainwashed. I felt all of that because I was so deep. I'm telling y'all on the inside, I almost felt like a Black Panther. You hear me? But anyways, and then it, it started to dawn on me that a lot of the fault that I'm trying to put on other people, it's not their fault. It wasn't their fault. It's not their fault that I'm not getting anywhere. And it wasn't, it wasn't their fault. It was my fault. So I had to really make a turnaround. I had to make a full 180, not 360. Cause if you do a 360, baby, you're going to end up right where you at. I had to make a full 180 in my life. And I had to take control and take responsibility for my life. I had to understand that the reason that I was where I was was because of me. And it was hard. That was hard. That was really hard to, yeah, personal acceptance, accountability, responsibility. It was very hard to get there because I had to realize, I had to realize that it was the choices that I made in life that got me where I was. You know what I'm saying? And so that was hard. And, um, but once I did, I'm telling y'all, and people don't like to believe it, they don't like to hear it. Baby, as soon as I started taking accountability and responsibility in my life, when I tell you things, just doors just straight open for me, because it was a different type of energy now. My energy that I was putting out was not an energy of, oh, I ain't gonna never be nothing. Oh my God, I'm oppressed. I, when I, stopped, feel, I stopped feeling like that. So once my energy changed, my opportunity shifted because I started feeling like a winner. Because I started feeling like that no matter what anybody else said, I was going to make it out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I had to take a hard look in the mirror. So it's just, <laughs> you know, I. it doesn't matter what anybody says or does. If you want to make it, you can make it out here. And I'm not exactly where I'm wanting to be or where I'm going to be. But you doggone better believe that I started laying the bricks of the foundations to get to where I'm trying to go. It, it wasn't up to nobody. I laid these bricks. You know what I mean? I did this. It was because of me. And thank God Almighty, you guys saw enough in me to support me. And y'all still see enough in me to support me. And that is just, y'all would never know how much I love my followers and my, subscriber, my, my subscribers. Y'all just, y'all would never know. Like, and I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all, thank y'all. <laughs> Ken, Ken, he, Ken, you ain't joking right now. Ken then left some hearts. He usually on here being messy. Thank you, Ken. But, you know, it really, <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make nobody cry. It's just that I got in my feelings. I didn't even mean to get in my feelings like these. I just wanted to tell you guys, thank you. I mean, like for real, I was scared. I'm telling y'all, I was so scared to tell my truth. I was so scared. Because I felt like, oh my God, if these people don't agree or if these people, you know, they're going to they gonna leave me hanging. And I love my followers. I don't want them to hate me. You know, I don't want them to, I, I felt all of that. And when I came back and y'all still supported me and I got all these likes, it just, it was a lot. 
It was a lot. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. Y'all don't understand. Like, y'all really have been the building blocks to a lot of stuff. Like, I just, I just love y'all so much. You know. <laughs> Somebody on here talking about Mickey Rooney. <laughs> he was a mess. But, yeah, and it's just, and, and here's the thing of it. People don't even have to agree. I don't expect everybody to agree with me. I'm not saying that anybody has to agree with me. It's just the fact that even people who didn't agree with me, even people who disagree with me, still was like, well, I'm still a subscriber of this channel. I'm not going nowhere. That meant a lot to me. Plenty of comments where, you know, actually, I don't agree with what you say 100% of the time, but guess what? I understand to agree to disagree, and I'm not going nowhere. That right there just, it feels so good because I, I don't agree with everybody. I don't agree with everybody. I have my own opinions. And, you know, I just, I don't, I don't feel like we should persecute people for their own opinions. So, like I said, even if somebody didn't agree, I don't persecute nobody for that. I'm not mad at them for disagreeing. I respect it 100% everybody's own opinion. I respect it. But I just wanted to tell y'all about my journey. It, it was a... It was bad. It was a bad time for me. It was really, really bad. It was bad. Aria, you got to read the uh, community post. You're probably not going to um, see. I'm sorry. I probably should have gave you a little bit of a background, but I just wanted to come on here and thank y'all so bad. I just wanted to come. No, I ain't got no cold, Celeste. Y'all just now coming in here. Baby, these folks is just now coming on this live. It's messy. They didn't miss the whole story and they see my eyes and stuff. They didn't got on here talking about some. You got a cold? <laughs> I don't got no cold. I just got a little bit emotional. I got emotional, but I was just overwhelmed at the love and support that my audience has. I mean, like, really. I had a. I heard, yeah, just messy. There you go, natural. Just messy coming here. Somebody, somebody, <laughs> shut up. Somebody got on here and said, I'm going to cry in the car. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Y'all remember on Friday when he ran off like this? <laughs> oh, man, he going to cry in the car. But anyway, y'all get on my nerves. Y'all messy. But anyways, it is. That, that was... I am, like I said, the love and the support that y'all have is really like, it blew my mind. It really did. It blew my mind. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ken, there you go. I shouldn't have started laughing because they go Ken talking about, can you do Jesus? Last time you asked me to do Jesus, my connection messed up, Ken. You better stop. Go ahead and keep on asking for he can strike you down with lightning. But um, I am, I'm cheer, I, I am, and it's actually tears of joy. Peter, I swear to God, it's tears of joy. It's not tears of sadness. It's just the fact that y'all, <laughs> y'all don't know, y'all don't know the backstory. But the fact that I gave y'all a little bit and told y'all and I was so scared that it was going to scare y'all away and that y'all are still here on this live, like having fun with me, it makes me happy. That's all. But y'all wouldn't believe how low I was. Like, y'all wouldn't believe how low I was. You know, barely having somewhere to stay. It was bad. It was bad. It was really, really bad. And then in that whole time of not having things, not having any money, not having anywhere to stay, and still trying to put that blame on somebody else, talking about it was their fault. It wasn't their fault. It was my fault. It was my fault because of the, it was my fault because of the decisions and choices that I made. It was my fault. So, like I said, having to look into the mirror and take full responsibility of my life, it was, um, yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the first time somebody caught a live and they don't, they see me on here cutting up. I'm sorry, Valerie. Usually the lives are very fun. We be laughing and cutting up. You didn't caught the bad live. You caught the live where I'm on here crying. I love you, too. I love y'all, too. I do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and y'all are my best friend. But y'all like my sister's cousins. Y'all know what it is. And I did. I did. I did. I, I made lemonade out of lemons because, baby, I had a whole bowl full of lemons. It was bad. I'm telling y'all. So I'm crying kind of like a testimony because at the time I didn't, 
I, I, I knew that this could not be my life. I just knew like this can't be it. I, this is crazy. I'm sinking. I am falling. I was falling like a rock, like a brick, y'all. And I'm telling you the whole way down to the bottom, I was pointing at other people. It's their fault. It's their fault. It's their fault. It was not their fault. I don't know about y'all's situation. I'm not trying to say this for anybody else. But for me, it was nobody's fault but mine. It was all my fault. It was nobody's fault. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not trying to say nobody has to believe like me, say what I say, whatever. I don't know y'all's situation. But for my situation, it was my fault. And so, like I said, I just had to rebuild. But once I once I switched my energy, once I switched my energy, and once I understood that I control where I go, I control, there's so many doors of opportunity. So many doors opened up. Now I got nothing but love for y'all, but I had to I had to change my mindset though because I I felt like I was just born to be done. Ugh. and then y'all just that's the feeling of it. You know what I'm saying? Just just it was just a bad feeling, like just negativity, just mad at everybody, and you know they did this and they did this, and just like a weight on my shoulders. It was terrible. It was a terrible time period it was a terrible time period man i was puffed up with pride couldn't nobody tell me nothing and i look back on it now and sometimes i laugh because it was ridiculous the way i was but that's how i was and so to get from there to here is absolutely a testimony it's absolutely my testimony absolutely and to get from where i was to here to get this mindset that i have now that i can achieve whatever like that's it took a lot y'all it took a lot so whew, i'm sorry let's say y'all y'all ought to be shaming y'all see of all these new people this day first live and i am on here cutting up the folks listen y'all the new folks i'm sorry my older subscribers in the comments will tell you that this is not how the lives usually are i swear to god <laughs> we usually have fun but baby I'm telling y'all, it's just the it's just the support is overwhelming for me. And I'm so grateful for it. That's all I can say. I'm very grateful for it. I am. I am. Self-reflection is the best. Yes, it is. That's it. That's it. Oh yeah, I know I'm very vulnerable at this time, man. And then I when I start, when I try to stop crying, I keep on crying, but oh y'all just i don't know and i know everybody has their own story you know what i'm saying I, everybody has their own story everybody has stuff they're trying to get through so you know i i get it but i just wanted to share mine with y'all thank you thank you so much black panther thank you so much hey nelly hold on hey valerie but Anyways, that's all. That's really all. Like, I know. And then, like I said, a lot of y'all don't know what I'm talking about. But if you guys will read the post that I made in the community tab, you guys will see exactly the mindset that I came from. And you guys will see how, like, the, the, the awakening that I had to have about myself. Because it was a huge, big awakening. And it was painful. It was real painful. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Thank you, T-Stamps. I appreciate that. Uh, no. Well, listen, 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 listen. Hold on. This made me laugh. Yes, I did record a song when I was 16. Hold on. What was my song? Um, dog. Oh. Let me tell you one thing about sexy. A girl in a guy's fantasy. You don't have to be a model. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Wait, listen. I did. I recorded a song. Uh, just be sexy and look full throttle. <laughs> gosh i actually had a cd out <laughs> my um who recorded it for me i think my cousin recorded it <laughs> y'all wrong for laughing but my cousin recorded it for me <laughs> and baby when i tell you when i tell you i tried to have that little cd you know how you put your cd in the stores and stuff baby when i tell you i put that cd in that store and honey, every time I came by, them same three copies were still there. <laughs> Baby, every time I stop by that store, <laughs> thank you, Leeway. Every time I stop by that store, them three copies were still there looking at me. <laughs> thank you so much, Leeway. 
So yes, I did try to record music before that. That was not um yeah. <laughs> it didn't sell nothing, Kirk. That's what I'm saying. I, I sold one CD, but that was to another family member. <laughs> Thank you, Art by Fanny. Thank you so much, baby doll. You know what it is. Thank you. Baby, it sure was. It sure was. The name of it was called uh, Don't Want to Talk About It. Show sure was, Quita. The name of it was called Don't Want to Talk About It. Oh, my gosh. I wish I could find this so I could show y'all a picture. Child. Now, put that dog on CD in the store. And then I would come by the store. You know what I'm saying? Talking about any copy sold today. That man looking at me like, girl, what you think? No, you ain't sell no copies. Matter of fact, you can go ahead and take these little CDs and take them on home. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, y'all tickle me. Thank you for that laugh. But no, I haven't. Besides that, I have not recorded any music. I mean, I recorded like one more song. It was a slow song. It was on the same CD. But no, no, I haven't recorded any music for real. But hold on. I'm sorry. Y'all done took me out. Hold on. Let me read the comments. Mm-mm. Dean, I'm not, no, I'm not re-recording it. Because, listen, back then, though, no, <laughs> thank you, Donna. Thank you so much. And thank you, Fred. Back then, though, no, listen, y'all, I could actually hit high notes back then. Now, Today, I can't really hit those high notes anymore like I used to get hit back then. I used to get hit them high notes. I used to sing in a gospel group with my sisters. Now, that was my real singing. I did used to sing in a gospel group with my sisters. And I used to be the soprano. And I can hit them high notes. But, child, now, baby, when I try to hit them high notes, it just be, it don't be no more good. It don't be no more good. I am. I am, Brooke, when I do his video. I am. Is that what happens? Yeah, I guess your voice do get older when you, um, <laughs> I'm for real, Lisette. But I guess your voice do get older when you get, or deeper when you get older. I'm going to try to find a picture and I'm going to show y'all, baby, y'all going to be tickled at that CD cover. Honey, I thought I was Tony Braxton on there. Do you hear me? I was looking out to the side. Baby, I was looking off to the side. I had my hair whipped up in like a bun. I had on some white pants with a shirt that came to a crop top shirt. Baby, I was it. You hear me? That was back in like 2003, I think. 2003. Honey, y'all couldn't tell me nothing, too. <laughs> if I, well, if Black Panther, if I wanted to sing again, I would. I would practice and get vocal training and all that kind of stuff, but. I really don't have any desire really to sing. I mean, I will if somebody was like, hey, I want you to sing. We got an opportunity. But I don't really, that's not, that's not the dream, my dream. I'll put it that way. Um, Next on the list is uh, Eartha Kitt. Eartha Kitt. Because, and the only reason, the only reason that she is next is because I got my weave. And don't, don't be laughing at my weave. It's time for it to get taken out. But I need to wear it for another week because I'm going to go on vacation. So everybody that's being messy, that's got something to say about my weave, uh, y'all need to stop because it's going to be getting taken out. And when I, as soon as I take it out next week, or the yes, the next week, I think, Etta James is coming up because I'm going to put on a wig for Etta James, okay? I'm going to put on a wig for Etta James. Eartha is going to be pretty good. I, well, I mean, yeah, she's going to be good, but it's like, she'll be good. We'll just put it there. Ooh, somebody said whoever talk about somebody's hair gonna go bald. See there? That's why y'all better stop talking about folks' hair. Is that the is that also for hair that you bought? Or is that when you talk about folks with real hair? I need to know the full extent. Cause I'm not trying to go bald. What about if somebody talk about somebody weave, girl? Cause see, that's bald hair. That's not really, you know. I need to try to find him. He coming. He's coming, OG. OG. He's coming soon. He's coming soon. But I just had some people before him. But he's coming soon. Evelyn, I don't I don't know. Right. Look at Virgo. Virgo said lose all your edges. I don't know, Evelyn. I think I'm going to just, um. I think I'm just going to make a different category. That's what most people voted for. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm just going to make a different category. Even though they said, but listen, though, some folks said in the comments that if I made a different channel, I'd get more money. 
I might need to make a different channel. I don't know. Thank you. Thank you, Miami Push to the Limit. I don't see why. I mean, thank you. Right now, I'm looking like who did it and why, but thank you. Let me see here. <laughs> Rosie. <laughs> Rosie, you silly. <laughs> Being cute is hard work, though. Okay, Evelyn, be quiet. Because the only reason you want me to go where the money is at is because you want me to create a separate channel anyway. Uh-huh, you thought I didn't know, didn't you? Yeah, I knew about it. Time out, ooh, girl, you need to go where the money is at. But now, the real reason is because you really want me to create a separate channel. Ain't it? You know I ain't lying. But I probably do need to go where the money reside. What you said is probably true, but still, though. I don't know. I don't know, y'all. I'm scared. Listen, Patricia, listen, this is sad. But I'm scared to create a Patreon. I don't know why. You know, I've been looking into it, but I but it's like I don't I guess I don't know exactly what people do on Patreon. You know what I'm saying? Like what do they do? Do they make videos the same way they make them on YouTube? Weirdo squad, weirdo. We definitely some weirdos today. I've been sitting up here crying and carrying on. Y'all sitting up there watching me cry. Child, the whole family, I mean, the whole thing is weirdos. Like, no, like, we're the weirdos already. But anyways, hold on. Oh, thank you, Leslie. Leslie, you have been here forever. Yes, you, you were here very early on. I remember, I remember. Some people announce their videos on Patreon. Oh, come on through, Lady Diamond, with the information, baby. I love that now. I see what it is now. So I can I can post exclusive content. Oh, I know you love. I can play music without copyright strikes. It's over with. I, I think I'm going to create a Patreon. Y'all done gave me what I needed to know. Hold on, let me see. Uh, Dean, I don't know. Child, let me tell y'all something. Thank, thank you, Shanti. Thank you, Shan Shantai, or maybe Shante. I'm not sure, but thank you so much. Listen, no, listen, y'all. Let me see. Hold on. Y'all got something to say. Oh, yeah. Dean, you sitting up there asking about when he going to get an another video. This boy is sitting over there thinking he talking about, Tell me, I might need to make a channel. Tell me, sometimes the men want something to watch. Boy, go home. Ain't nobody want to sit up there. Tell me, sometimes the men want to watch stuff with other men. Go on, because he don't even know what he going to talk about. So not only is he trying to probably get back in another video, he's thinking about trying to make his own channel because he feel like the men probably need to watch something for the men. Boy, go on. Y'all ain't going to be talking about nothing over there. What y'all going to be talking about? Nothing. Come on, all the men come in the room. All the men come in the room. And then, and then when y'all get in there, then when y'all get in there, y'all ain't gonna be talking about nothing. <laughs> Child, go on. What's that? What clean up? Show clean up. What you mean, Kevin? Yeah, he is being messy. That's right. He being real messy. That boy, Ken, what he need his own channel for, Ken? He ain't going to be talking about nothing. I ain't going to, I'm not hating. <laughs> I'm going to tell, actually, he might be watching this live. I don't know. But I'm going to tell him y'all say I'm hating on him. Ain't nobody hating on him. All I know is that my channel is going to be better. That's all I'm saying. Thank you, Harold. But, um, yes, Eartha Kit is next. And like I said, I can't wait to put on a Etta James wig. Oh my goodness, y'all. It's going to be so, like, I cannot wait because it's been so long since I put on a wig. The last wig I put on was uh, Dinah Washington. And girl, I know, the men ain't wanting to see what that boy talking about. All the men. Come on, come on. Men from all over the world. Come on in the room. 
Babe, I promise you, they gonna get in that doggone room waiting for him to say something, and he gonna be just sitting up there looking at him. Talking about, well, what, what y'all got to talk about? Talking about, sir, this is a YouTube video. You supposed to be talking to us. That's how it's gonna go. <laughs> Queen. Queen Kylie, you need to you need to either put it in the comments or you need to uh, email me. If you got more tea to add, you need to email me because, see, one day I've had so much more tea on people that one day I'm going to do like a like an update tea video and I'm going to tell like it's going to be about everybody, but it's going to be different tea that I left out of their video. That makes sense because I've had a whole bunch of other people to come in and be like, uh, well, I got this tea that you missed, blah, 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 blah. So I feel like I need to make an update T video. I see Selena Ken. She's on the list. Who shucks? Yes, the Dinah Washington story. The Dinah Washington story. I thought it was good. It's okay, Jennifer. I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all I love y'all and thank y'all. That's that's what I wanted to do. My favorite old Hollywood video for a long time it was Billy Holiday. But I think now it is, um, um, I think it might be, maybe, maybe Jimi Hendrix, maybe. Is it Jimi Hendrix? I don't know. I forgot who, I don't know. I don't know. It might still be Billie Holiday. Because, and the reason she's my favorite is because, Baby, before I done that video, I went and watched where she fell. Baby, why did Billy Holiday get pushed to the ground like that? Honey, that still tickles me. And it ain't right. It's not right. I'm not making fun of her. I'm not making fun of her. It's just that the directors could have said something about the way she was falling. Billy, <laughs> Billy Holiday. Billy Holiday just fell like a like a, a sleeping cow almost. And I'm not saying anything like she's a cow about her weight or anything. I'm just saying, you know how they just be standing there and they just fall over like that? That is the way Billy Holiday fell down. She she did. Y'all know I ain't lying. Y'all know I ain't lying. Big, little, Richard, little Richard was a big old. Oh, yeah, he's one of my favorite ones. Because it was doodle -doo child. He was sitting up there putting boo-boo in them folks' bags. That's, it's funny. It is funny. I ain't gonna lie. I was laughing. But that ain't right. Sitting up there and gave me some boo-boo. God would have took that boo-boo and smushed it on the back of his head. Hmm. She, she fell just like Whoopi Goldberg did in Color Purple. Sure did. Yeah, it was boo-boo in there. Yes, LaWanda Page and Helen Martin. Yes. Y'all want to see Paul Mooney? It it's actually would be a great time to do Paul Mooney because all of his information is available because he just passed away. That's what happened with, uh, what's her name, Cicely Tyson. I was able to hurry up and do it. But see, she had already been on the list for a long time, though. Paul Mooney hadn't really been on this list for long. So that's why I went ahead and scooped up all of her information because she had just passed. And I went ahead and put a video out. So, I mean, I probably could do that to Paul Mooney. But Paul Mooney ain't been on the list for long. Y'all just started talking about Paul Mooney. Y'all forgot about Paul Mooney until he passed away. Y'all be shaming y'all, sir. Y'all real messy. Sitting up there talking about Paul Mooney. And then they say, you know, he done passed away. Now y'all sitting up there talking about, yeah, do him. Talking about, mm -mm, somebody need to go ahead and do Paul Mooney. That's what y'all sitting up there doing. <laughs> y'all crazy. <laughs> I know a lot of folks didn't know who Paul Mooney was. Now, I knew who he was. Oh. Thank, thank you so much, Patrick. We had a great, yes, a wonderful conversation about Diana Ross. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. But listen, a lot of folks didn't know who Paul Mooney was. And the thing of it is, is that he was not really all that mainstream. I, I have been knowing who Paul Mooney was because, like I just said at the beginning of the video, everything that I was into back then, all of this um, black stuff, would, of course, lead me to know who Paul Mooney was. You know what I'm saying? Because of the type of content that he created. 
but I been knew who he was, but um, I, I think he was maybe just a little bit too controversial to be super mainstream. I mean, he was mainstream, but he was not super mainstream, you know, but he was a good comedian. He was an excellent comedian. It's just that I'm just tripping out because he wasn't on the list until he didn't pass away. Now folks sitting up there, like I said, mm -hmm, somebody, somebody need to do Paul, baby. We got to get a video on Paul Mooney, honey. That's all I'm trying to say. He was, and I, I heard that. Just called me sister, said he was the magic behind Richard Pryor. And I heard that he was, yeah. Butterfly McQueen, she on the list, she been on the list. Who said Donald Trump? I ain't finna do Donald Trump. I don't got to do no video about him. Donald Trump make comedy himself. I mean, he just... Donald Trump is a comedian. He's com she comments. She's next. Eartha Kid is next. Let me see here. Red Fox is very close as well. Oh, Paul Mooney wrote for Sanford and Son? I didn't know that. You, you want to know how many stand-up comics I'm in contact with? <laughs> I, I'm, not, I'm not in contact as in really talking back and forth to these comedians like that. I have had certain people to reach out to me or certain people that I've reached out to that would just sprinkle a little bit of tea. You know what I'm saying? They'll sprinkle a little bitty bit of tea, but they wasn't really dropping no real tea. So regardless of if I'm in contact with those stand-up comedians or whoever, it they ain't they ain't giving me no information where it's like, what? Oh my God. You know what I'm saying? And then also, even if I research and I ask them and be like, okay, I'll, I'll be like, okay, okay, you don't even have to tell me. Just you don't have to tell me the information. Let me just ask you a question. You tell me whether it's true or false. I'll tell them whatever I know or whatever I think. And they won't even like respond to that. You know what I'm saying? Like they won't even respond to that. So it's I don't have any communication with any celebrities that's just like, wow, I got a source like that. You know what I'm saying? I'm the only the well, that wasn't even a celebrity for the for the uh, Florence Ballard video. That that was not even a celebrity. That was somebody more on a family front. But um, I have yet to be in like full big contact with an actual celebrity. I have talked back and forth, but nothing that that's meaningful. You know what I'm saying? Um, the prince really, I probably can put one of those out. I probably can put, let me say, I'm going to work on a video tonight, which is going to be Earth the Kid. Probably, maybe in the next two days, I possibly can put out that video as well as a weird video. We'll see. Let me see. Oh, my, how, did, how do you know I was going to do her, Alisa? How do you know I was going to do her? Did I tell y'all I was going to do her? Baby, I cannot wait until I do Princess Margaret. I can't wait, honey. She coming. Etta James uh, coming. Uh, Merc Jam, she coming. I just got to, I'm doing Earth the Kid. And then by that time, give me like a week and I'm going to uh, rip this wig off my head. And then I'm going to put on my Etta James wig. And it's over with, baby. Thank you, Bellissima. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I appreciate this. Y'all are y'all are really helping me. I, I really appreciate this. Thank you. Y'all think I've been blessed with a gift? Thank you. Thank you, God. These folks said I've been blessed with a gift. That's what they said. I didn't say it, God. That's what they said. Thank you. Thank y'all. Let me say, hold on. Hold on. Thank you, Elisa. Okay, I told you. Yes, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Princess Margaret because baby, y'all ain't seen nothing. Oh, when I tell you all the tea about her and the way she used to act and the way she used to treat folks. Child, that's all I can say. Let me see. Thank you, Glenny. I told y'all Rudolph Valentino. I can do him. He ain't really got much scandal, but his death is definitely, yes, I can do him. Hold on. If you do Elvis, I Tammy, you need, we, we need to talk to him. You need to email me. I think you emailed me. Somebody emailed me about that already. Was it you? 
And and also, let me tell y'all this. The ones of y'all that have emailed me with tea and information, I got your emails. I got your emails. What's happening is that I'm waiting until I get to that person to respond and try to, you know, talk about it in depth with you guys. But I got y'all's emails. I definitely got them. And baby, y'all have dropped some tea bombs on me. Do you hear me? So, yeah. Child, Miss Nikki, I've been trying to learn uh, Anna Gordy's tricks. I've been, been wanting to know them tricks. James Brown been on the list. He's soon, Rosie. Share. I, leeway, y'all want to see Vesta Williams. Let me see. Vesta Williams is actually... Vesta Williams probably about got about five, five people in front of her. Leeway. Thank you, the prince. The TV shows. I, are y'all talking about like do a do a, a review of the TV shows? That's what y'all mean. And, and if I do, wait a minute, the prince, because I if I do that, that's gonna have to be added on later. I got so much other stuff. You know, I got this list of people that I gotta try to work through. So I can't be doing the TV shows right now. Liz Taylor, she on the list. Kirk, don't be worried about it. It's for research purposes. Now y'all sitting up there wondering why I want to learn Anna tricks. It's research purposes. Now shucks, the science the scientists have already called me and told me that Ashley, we need you to learn these tricks that Anna Gordy does. So I'm trying to help the scientists out by learning them. Woo! Y'all all up in there. What's going on over here? Thank you, Chuck Town. Thank you so much. Thank y'all. And then, <clears throat> Ken, shut up. Talking about some Lucifer morning star. You better stop, Ken. Stop it. I'm not doing Lucifer. Let me see here. I love you too, Plum Fiction. Love you so much. And then I so so now that you know I'm not doing Lucifer, you're gonna tell me to do Satan. Boy, get out of here. Gerald Levert. He, I think he is on the list. He ain't old school though, but okay. Susan Hayward. Susan Hayward. That's a good one. Thank you as well, to be But Susan Hayward, man, you're right. Sarah Vaughn been on the list. Uh Marky. Marvin Daddy. What Marvin Daddy do to you, girl? Oh, he shocked you. Okay. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, my gosh. I'm so glad you answered that. Who, oh, who asked that? Hold on. Hold on. Lila M. Girl, the one that shocked me the most. I mean, shocked the, the knocked the socks off of my feet. I could not believe, I never knew. Apparently other people knew, but I didn't know. I had no idea that Al Green was abusive. I had no idea when I started researching for him and baby, all that stuff came up, it knocked my socks off. I had no idea Al Green was abusive like that. Or allegedly, 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 allegedly. I had no idea that he was supposedly abusive like that, girl. Baby, they said Al was busting that woman upside the head all kind of ways with that uh, guitar. Baby, they said one. I think she was asleep one time. Al came in there and busted that woman upside the head with a guitar. Baby, I had no idea. I did not know that at all. Donna Summer, yes, Tammy. She's on the list. I had no idea. It knocked the grits off the stove. There you go, Evelyn. Because, baby, I, didn't, I had no idea, like I said. Let me see him. Hey, Nubian. I'm glad to see you, baby. But yeah, it, it did not. It, it shocked me. I didn't know he was doing that. Let me see here. With Wesley Snipes. Wesley Snipes? I don't think Wesley really got much tea besides when he had went to jail that time. And then he ain't old school. Y'all always doing stuff that ain't even old school. Or want people that, oh, Gregory, Gregory Hines. That's a good one. Hold on, let me see. I was six years old when that crazy woman did the grits with Al Green. Yeah, burnt Al Green back up. Y'all saw how I was after? Hey, Steven. <clears throat> Melba Moore, Muddy Waters. 
Muddy Waters been on the list. You didn't know Raquel. Yeah, I, listen, I've, I've gotten a little shocked from everybody, but Al Green really, really shocked me. John Witherspoon, John Witherspoon. Um, what John Witherspoon say that had me tickled? Um, I guess, uh, why come I'm in the house or something? You always in the kitchen, always in the refrigerator, or something like that. What did he say on Friday that had me laughing? I forgot. Thank you, Amber. Sammy Davis Jr. is coming up very soon, Amber. Mick Jagger, David Bowie. Yes. Oh, did y'all see that video they made together? If y'all have not seen the Mick Jagger and David Bowie video that they made together, please go watch it so y'all can see how they was dancing. I know, Bianca. Dang, the barge, the barge. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what, Bianca. I'll tell you what. What I will do... Hold on, let me see. Because it's another family. The, the Silvers and the DeBarge are the big time families that I have to do recent, that I have to do like now. But I tell you what. Um, the DeBarge is before the Silvers. They coming soon, Bianca. That's all I'm gonna say. That's all I can say, Bianca. They coming soon. I ain't saying nothing else. I'm not saying nothing else, Bianca. Yeah, I'm every time I'm in the kitchen, you in the kitchen eating up all the food. That's it. That's it. And then when he when y'all, my husband does a perfect, he does a perfect thing. Uh when when Pops had went in the bathroom and it was stinking, and he was like, Oh, Stanley, Stanley. And he was spreading that uh, he was spreading that air freshness. My husband does that perfectly. That's another thing that had me uh laughing. But anyways, hold on. That coming, Bianca. You thought Prince was mixed. Prince wasn't mixed. I mean, he was mixed, like, but but his mama and daddy were not like they were both African Americans, from what I saw. Hey, Rosie, thank you so much, baby. Thank you. Ooh, Kim, did you mean to say yelling or telling? Because if so, I'm not gonna be embarrassed. My feelings gonna be hurt. Y'all, Kim on here being messy. Kim on here being messy. Kim then told me, "Thanks for yelling the story of our people." Kim, I don't be trying to yell. <laughs> I don't be trying to yell, Kim. Kim done got on here, baby. Tell my thanks for yelling the story of our people. Ooh, baby, y'all know y'all wrong. But I done said plenty of times before, a lot of y'all subscribers is on here is messy. Y'all get on here to be messy. Then told me thanks for yelling it. Hey. <laughs> Oh, she meant telling. Okay, thank you, Kim. I was just playing with you anyway, but thank you. She said telling. She meant telling. Nina Mae McKinney, yes. Yes, it's just the way it comes out. There you go, Moose, for the love of Moose. It's just the way it comes out. Kirk, yes, yeah, she meant telling. But listen, though, if she did mean yelling, baby, I would have been tickled. You hear me? Well, I was tickled anyway. Let me see. How about the guy? Oh, you kidding. Hell no. Heck to the no. To the no, no, no. He passed away, y'all. That's what Shant Is it Shantae or Shanta Or Shanti? That's what she just said. She said the man that saying heck to the no passed away. It's okay, Kim. I'm just playing, boo. It's a lot of folks to be clowning up in these lives. Ken is the number one, Mary Magdalene and Moses. I'm not finna do a tell on them. I'm not doing a tell on them. And you know what, Ken? I don't have to do a tell on them because Mary Magdalene, everybody keep doing stuff with her story. Babe, I done heard so many stories about Mary Magdalene. I am sick to my stomach. People be saying everything about that woman. <clears throat> They be talking about she was uh used to go with Jesus, you know, talking about she was out here just uh going with all the men in the Bible, and whoo, they just be being messy about Mary Magdalene. I don't have time for it. Let me see. LaWanda Page and Helen Martin. They are on here, no new. They on the list. Okay, what's the recommendation? Uh vintage dude over here. What is it? Thank you, Kim. She did, she meant telling y'all. Let me see. Mahalia Jackson, Mahalia Jackson, Mahalia Jackson. 
Oh, the sing. Okay, Mahalia Jackson, the singer. Dang, why come I had to thought about that? Okay, okay. Oh, you know what they said about her and a lot of those female gospel singers. I was, I'm not supposed to do gospel singers, really. But y'all are really breaking my ears down or my eyes. Y'all keep asking for her. Y'all keep asking for um um whoa swing swing low chariot the caravans it's the caravans no it ain't the caravans it's um court clara ward clara ward y'all keep asking for clara ward thank you prince i know you had i know i know you've been saying to the barge family i know i pass out because i have to pass out the tv so hot but y'all be wanting to hear about clara ward and uh, Mahalia Jackson, y'all be trying to hear about. And then one day somebody got real messy. They tried to tell me to uh, talk about um, what's that woman name? I got greens, beans, tomatoes, jack, uh, jack, chicken, rabbits. What's that woman name? I got beans, greens, tomatoes, rabbits, corn, potatoes, leaves. What is her name? I got green. Oh, somebody put it in the comments. I got greens, beans, tomatoes. Shirley Caesar, that's it. Sorry, thank y'all. Shirley Caesar, y'all trying to y'all try to do me, make me do Shirley Caesar. I'm not gonna do Shirley Caesar. I'm not gonna do it. Thank you, Nicole. Pearl Bailey, yeah, she's on the list. She's on the list, Nicole. She's on the list. She's not that far down either. Shirley Caesar, I'm not. Oh, Freddie, Freddie Washington is good, but Kevin, the thing is, is that I don't really know much about her life. I don't know much about her life. You know what I'm saying? I know that she was an African American woman that fought to be African American. She did not want to take roles that would make her pass. But I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know about her. I don't know about her life. Shut up, Ken. Talking about Tweety Bird and Bugs Bunny. I'm not doing them. I'm not doing them. Bugs Bunny had got arrested that time because he kept shooting folks. Baby, he took that gun from Elmer Fudd and he went to town. Do you hear me? Shot up all the rest of the cartoon characters. So he's still in jail. So I'm not doing him because I'm against violence. Let me see here. The Bee Gees, that's a good one. And both of those brothers died of like the same condition years apart. Why am I telling y'all this right now? I need to tell y'all this on the video. But okay. What? Okay, why why won't I do it, Marie? Lolita Marie, why come I won't do it? Because you do know why I won't do it. Jean Harlow, yes. Okay, she's coming. Kirk Franklin. Kirk Franklin ain't old school. I ain't, I ain't doing Kirk Franklin, but he's not old school anyway. Thank you, Timmy. I like the Dorothy Dandridge one too. They shall do. Ain't nobody doing Shirley Caesar. The Ronettes. Okay. I'm not. I'm scared. I'm I'm not. That's what I'm saying. I'm scared. Because them folks will come get me. I kept telling y'all that. Mabel King from What's Happening. Mabel King from What's Happening. Is that the mama? Was she the mama? Mabel King. But okay. Uh-uh, I can't do them. I'm that chick. They not old, they're not old enough. They just passed away. Y'all don't, y'all trying to get away from the old school stuff and go to the new school stuff. Somebody told me she wants me to do Aaliyah and Left Eye. They are not old enough. Somebody else wanted me to do Destiny's Child. They also are not old enough. Hold on, let me see here. Thank you. Ken, go to bed and shut up. They didn't told you to go to bed, Ken, because you on here being messy. <laughs> Ken, somebody said Ken is that little brother like go home Roger he sure is Louis Armstrong I know they, they did Nicole you're right As matter of fact they're not the only they're not the only cartoon it was a lot of cartoon that had some had some of that going on some racist stuff going on Vivian Lee she was well she's on the list I'm gonna check that out Alisa yeah email me some tea Email me that. Don, Don Cornelius. Very close, Rosie. Very close. Jay, who is Quick Draw McGraw? No, Jay. Wait, is it 
was Jay, are you the one to ask? I don't know. Somebody asked for Jesse Belvin, and he's coming up soon, too. Jesse Belvin, he's coming. Marlon Brando, too. Thank you, Shamika. You're a new subscriber. Thank you. I appreciate it. Those church singers was balling. They was doing a lot of stuff out of control, but I'm not, I'm not here to tell it. I just, I can't, I'm, uh-uh, no. Baby, them folks to come shout all on top of my head. Is that, do y'all want that? Y'all want them folks to come shouting all top of my head? They're going to fall out and put the blanket over me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all going to be the thought out and fell out from the spirit. Turns out one of them folks then took a sucker punch and punched me in the nose. And then I'm going to fall out and they're going to bring the fallout blanket and they're going to put it over my head. It's not going to be up to here. It's going to be over my head. I don't have time for it. Let me see. Thursday Lane, very moved. Really? Thank you. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much. I see your comment, Thursday Lane. Hold on. Somebody said I got a story. Uh-uh, Shauna. Well, you email me then, Shauna. Email me. Unless you want to put it in the comments. Put it in the comments. Or email me. Let's see here. No, they didn't, Kimmy's. Really? Kimmy's on here talking about Bert and Ernie just came out the closet talking about they was being gay. Really? They probably did do a, do a show like that, though. That's, that's what I'm saying, natural. We already know about these new school folks. Alfred Hitchcock, Carmen McRae, another... Jay, that's gonna have to wait. I know, I know that y'all want me to do redo Tammy Terrell. I know it. I know it. Like I say all the time, I screwed that video up. I know, I know, I know, I know. I screwed that video up. But I don't have the time to do a new Tammy Terrell video right now. I gotta wait a minute. Aaliyah is a queen. Y'all, the people that know me know that I wanted to be her or that I thought I was her. Luther Vandross, yes, coming soon. Hold on, let me see here. That's what everybody says, Rosie. I need to be on Drunk History. Thelma Todd, yes. Jesse Owens, yes, okay. B. Tinsley, you ain't telling me nothing, baby. You ain't said nothing but a word. I already did Barbara Payton, but I did, but she was on my first video when I didn't show my face. I basically just put up pictures. And one day I'm going to redo her, but that's going to be later on. Just like with the Tammy Terrell situation, that's going to be later on. But listen, Tinsley, you ain't telling me nothing. Barbara Payton was the scandal. She was the most scandalous one of all. Do you hear me? And people, baby, if people request her enough, because they don't know how scandalous she was, but if people request her enough, I may redo her. Let me see here. Isabel Sanford. Isabel Sanford. Who is Isabel Sanford? That's what I'm talking about, Angela. Let me see here. Okay, 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 okay. Aretha Franklin daddy has a whole, whole lot of tea. A whole lot of tea. Uncle Phil ain't got no uh scandal, Evelyn. But I mean, I can do him as a bite. Well, no. He's still kind of new as well. Well, he older. I don't know. Thank you, the prince, again. Thank you so much. Well, put the walls group at the very bottom of the list. The walls? Really? I ain't never even heard of them. I got to check them out. I know, Tanash. I am right about the church folks. I done told y'all. Y'all sitting up there talking about, ooh, talking about Ashley, she didn't got saved. Talking about, yes, thank you. Next thing you know, y'all come up there to, to see me while they didn't sit up there and put the cover over my head. Y'all pull the cover back, my nose bleeding, my two front teeth knocked out. You know what I'm saying? And the motherboard is over there praying. The motherboard is standing around me. You side eye and y'all trying to see what y'all looking at. That's what y'all sitting up there want to happen. Y'all come check and see, look what I look like. Next thing you know, I'm knocked out. Baby, I ain't got time. Buddy Holly, Felipe Wynn, yes. Yes. Yeah, for real. 
Yeah, the ch the church cartel. That's right. Ain't they ain't to be played with? Johnny Taylor, yes. You don't know, Ann. Ann talking about that ain't gonna happen. And you don't know what's gonna happen. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Because I seen folks try to go and say something about the church folks. I seen it. And you know what happened? Next thing I know, they didn't have no no followers or nothing. It was folks on their tail following them on every video. Like, uh-uh. Yes, the motherboard. Nothing B4L. I, I originally came on here to thank you guys for your support. That, that is what I originally came on here for. And I'm not going to go through that whole spill again. All I can say is that I was grateful that I'm just grateful for my followers. I'm grateful that y'all like me regardless of my beliefs, regardless of my opinions. I am so grateful that you guys accept me and like me regardless of all that. You know what I'm saying? I, I told my, at the beginning of the live, I told my story of how, where I came from, the feeling I had, the thought process that I had. I gave everybody the story of that. But um, I love you too, B4L. Hold on, wait. Hold on. It is, it is, it is, Bree Bree. It is. And and it's like, um, it is, they wanna they wanna get something sooner. And I understand because a lot of folks are interested in people from like the 80s and 90s. But the thing of it is, the old Hollywood, they do take, I try to make it where they take precedence. I really do. I try to make it where they take precedence, and then I try to get to the newer school people a little bit later. You know what I'm saying? But um Sometimes I slip up and I maybe do somebody that's a little bit earlier than what I should. But yes, it, it is mainly the old Hollywood scandals was mainly focused on people from the 70s and later. That is what it was focused on. Now I have started to allow people that's a little bit newer. But like I said, the oldies takes precedence. That's the way it's supposed to be. But thank you so much. Thank you, Bri Bri. Thank you. But anyways, like I was saying, so I'm grateful that regardless of my thoughts, regardless of whatever, that you guys supported me. I'm grateful to understand that we all have different opinions and that you guys understand that and support me. That's what I'm trying to say. Roxy Roker. Ooh, Roxy Roker. That's a good one. Lola Bunny. Ken, Lola Bunny. Lola Bunny and Daffy Duck. No, Lola Bunny is... um. She had talked to somebody. Who did she talk to? I forgot. She had talked to somebody. Or no, no, she didn't. It was her and um, what's that woman's name? I can't think of her name, but her and that redhead woman that had the nice shape, they had got busted for prostitution. That is what happened to them. That's what happened to Lola Bunny. She had got busted for prostitution with that redhead woman. Okay, let's see here. Louise Beavers. Let's see. Okay. It's Tisha. I didn't I didn't tell my story in a video. I, I told my story. I didn't even tell the full story at the beginning of this live. What I did is I did a community post. It was a comment that I had responded to a commenter. And this was the thing, just to break it down for everybody. I'm not gonna go through the whole spill again, but on the Flip Wilson video where I said that I didn't believe in the dress thing. I don't believe that. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe that. That is not to say that there are other things out there, but I just never believed in the dress agenda, okay? That is my personal feelings. Well, there's somebody that has been a subscriber for a while, and she said that, you know, well, Ashley, I, I tried to give this channel a chance, you know what I'm saying? But it's clear that Ashley is a part of the agenda, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying? And I understand. And that's her opinion. That's her opinion. But the, the basically, basically what she was trying to say is that she wanted to leave because of this. So like I, like I explained before, usually I don't, I don't respond. I don't respond to stuff about race. I don't respond to stuff about conspiracies. I don't even respond when people say they want to leave. But the difference between this and other people was that she was leaving with a misconception that I was a part of some type of agenda. That is why I responded to her and I let her know that that is not the truth. And so basically I gave her this whole big spiel and basically the whole big spiel was telling her that the things that she wrote in her comment, I used to believe like she did. I used to feel exactly the way she felt. You know what I'm saying? But I had to, I, I had a, I changed my thought process because when I was believing the way she did, I was stuck. I was stuck in a corner. I couldn't make anything of myself. I was stuck. I was mad at the world. I was oppressed. I just, oh, child, it was bad. It was really bad. 
And so the comment that I responded to her, if you want to see the, if you want to hear the details or read the details, you can go look in the community tab and you can see what comment I'm talking about. But I, what I got on here for is because when I made that comment, because it's not, I'm pretty sure a lot of people disagree with my comment. You know what I'm saying? So I was scared. I was scared to post it. I really was. I was scared to post it, but I thought, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to post it anyway. I said, I promised my followers that we are family. I promised my followers that we were going to be, you know, I was going to be real with them. So because I promised y'all that, I actually posted that so you guys could see who I was as far as who I am now. You know what I'm saying? You guys can know the old Ashley and the new Ashley. That's why I made the post. But when I made the post, I was scared that everybody was going to hate me in the end, okay? Well, I made the post, I went to the gym, I came back from the gym and I clicked on the post and I was overwhelmed and flooded with tears, honey. Tears were just streaming out my cheeks because it was so much support. It was so many people that, that continued to support me and to continue to love me. They continued, it, it didn't matter. It didn't matter, even if they disagreed, even if they didn't feel like I felt, they still supported and was like, you know, Ashley, it's cool, you know, I love you, blah, blah, blah. And that right there, because of what I'm trying to do, because of what, I, because I do love doing this, because I do love having this like um, interaction with y'all. And I've been telling y'all from the beginning. I don't know who I've been here from the beginning, but I have been telling y'all from the beginning that I would like a real relationship with my followers. You know what I'm saying? I understand that we can't get super close because there's so many of y'all, but I still want to have a connection where my followers can see that I'm genuine. You know what I mean? So when I got back, and I saw all of that support. Oh, child, all of that support, all of that stuff. It's just like, it, it was just overwhelming for me. And so I had to get on live and tell y'all, thank y'all. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I know that people don't believe like I believe. I know that people disagree. But it's the fact that y'all can look past it and still support. Like, that's, that's that means so much to me. It means so. I don't take it for granted. You know what I'm saying? I know other YouTubers might take that type of stuff for granted. I don't take it for granted, not one bit. Because if y'all knew where I came from, if y'all knew where I came from, then y'all would understand. So that's why I actually got on the live. But anyways, y'all, y'all will see. You, you'll, you'll, y'all see what I'm talking about. Um, <clears throat> Lena Horn and Barbara Hutton. Yes. Ooh, on the next, on the next weird, weird death thing, y'all gonna, y'all gonna really like that. But anyways, yeah, y'all gonna like, y'all, this, we finna do the thing up. Do you hear me? Y'all is gonna love the old Hollywood scandals as well as the weird tales. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all. Yes. Yes, Tammy. Yeah, for real. Because where I came from to where I am now, and like I said, it ain't like I'm like in a mansion or anything like that, but baby from where i came from it's it's amazing it's amazing thank you the prince hold on be who you are and say what you want yes yes and i am i am it's just that you know i'm not one of those youtubers i seen youtubers that would get on here and cuss they followers out do you hear me like some of these youtubers you you'll make something on they you'll do a comment on their video and you'll say something like um uh well i don't think this video is good i don't like this video baby them other youtubers will jump in them comments and cuss a follower out i don't understand that there's no way that i can treat my subscribers like that there's no way that i can treat my followers like that there's no way you know what i'm saying there's no way that's why i've always said that y'all are free to your own opinion y'all are free to feel the way you want to feel you know what i mean so elwin what that mean you gone or or what? But anyways, yeah. So it's no way I can treat y'all like that. I couldn't do that. I'm, I'm not going to clap back at my subscribers. I ain't going to cuss them out. I know I ain't. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Because that's just not me. That's just, it's not me. Thank you, Victoria. Yeah. Y'all see, I mean, some of these YouTubers will really cuss somebody out. Baby, they will cuss them folks out. And these people are trying to subscribe to you. Like, they're trying to support you. And you didn't cuss that woman out. Girl, I can't do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to do it. But, you know, like I said, it's just so that that was overwhelming. You don't have to. You ain't got to tell nobody that. But anyways, yeah, it, it was overwhelming. So, see it vicious. Yes, that's a good person to add on the list. 
Oh, okay. Thank you, Elwin. Yeah, they will. They'll cuss you out, baby. I'm not finna do it. I'm not finna sit up there and cuss nobody out. I am. My content is gonna continue to come. Thank you, Jay. Chip Fields and the Osley Brothers. Earth, Wind, and Fire went from 54 members to 20. <laughs> Wait a minute. They had, oh, they had a whole bunch of members? I didn't know that. Yeah, sometimes they, girl, I'm telling you, them them folks will cuss a, cuss a follower out. I ain't finna sit up there and do that. Because, I mean, it's not even just because, oh, I want to keep my followers. I want to keep my subscribers. I just ain't got the heart to do folks like that. Like I told y'all a long time ago, I've never been a fighter. I'm not a fighter. I'm not a fighter at heart. You know what I'm saying? I am a, um, oh, I don't want to cry again on this thing, but I'm not a fighter at heart. I'm a lover at heart. So I don't like confrontation and all that kind of stuff. So that's just ain't never been me. So I'm not finna, you ain't going to find me out here cussing folks out. That's just not me. So anyways. Once again, Lord, here we go. And watch my subscribers start being messy. Ooh, what's going on? Ashley, you got a cold? Mm-mm. Ashley must have had a flu because her eyes watering. Ooh, y'all get on my nerves, baby. But I love y'all. Thank you, Sheena. And, and actually, that's not, that part ain't even talking. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Talking about, dang, talking about she really ain't no fighter. Talking about, baby, when she think about fighting, she get the crime. That's not what it is. I'm not crying because I'm thinking about fighting. I ain't crying because of nothing like that. I'm crying because I was already crying earlier, and so I got emotional all over again. But I ain't that much. Now, I ain't that much of a, a soft heart. Well, when I think about crying, I didn't got the, or when I think about fighting, I didn't got the crime. Yes, Amber. He's on the list. He's going to be an old Hollywood, though, Amber. But yes, he's on the list. He, and he was real crazy in his hair too. Thank you, Janine. But yeah, I'm not a fighter at heart. I've never been like that. That's just, that, that's just not, as far, I'm talking about a fist fighter, a fist fighter. Now, a, a debater? Ooh, baby. Uh, thank you, Glistening Beauty. Oh, thank you so much, Lolita Marie. But listen, baby, as a debater, as a, with my words, especially back when I used to feel the way I used to feel. Honey, I used to be on YouTube all day, every day. Not even only on YouTube, but in real life, babe, I used to be ripping folks' argument to shreds. You hear me? I mean, I used to just be blah, 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 blah. Like, they couldn't even get a word in because I was over there, like, debating them and arguing and all that kind of stuff. Oh, baby, I was serious. You hear me? I was pulling out the big words, baby. They didn't even know, child. They didn't even know I knew them words. I pull out big words and they'll be like, oh, where you learn that word from? Talking about, don't do me. Y'all thought I was stupid. Ain't nobody stupid, baby. I can do that. You know what I'm saying? I was just, I was the most. So when it comes to stuff like that, I definitely did not mind confrontation. But as far as like trying to fight somebody for, you know, that's just ain't never been me. But honey, the way that I was like, baby, I thought I was a part of the great debaters. Do you hear me? They couldn't do nothing with me. Except that day when I ran into that older person, baby, that older person hurt my feelings so bad. That older person said, like, who? Like, what are you talking about? Who's doing something to you? Ain't nobody doing nothing to you. They told me, they was like, ain't nobody waiting for you to come outside calling you the N-word. Ain't nobody out here got their foot on your neck. Ain't nobody doing nothing to you. When you wake up every morning, you can go do whatever you want to do. There's nobody in your house with their foot on your neck. And I just, I, I didn't want to accept that. I didn't want to accept that. But like I said, after a while, I grew to understand what that person meant. And I'm so grateful for it. But yeah, before, before my change, I, I was, I was serious. I was serious. Let me see. Hold on. Lenny Kravitz. That, that's not old school, Evelyn. There you go. Shaka Khan has been coming. And I didn't think there was nothing about Shaka Khan, but I'm starting to find differently. I'm a Pisces ear hustler. I'm a Pisces. Bing Crosby. Growing and learning. That's it, Sequoia. That's it. That's what I had to do. That's what I had to do. Because like I said, I was the, it was the blame game for everybody. And I was so knowledgeable and knew everything. And child, you're just sitting up there looking crazy because I knew everything but what I needed to know. Bob Hope. Bing, Tinsley, you hurt. Uh-uh. B. Tinsley. 
I told you that I had already done Barbara Payton. You think I don't see your comments? I told you I already done her, but I did her in, in my first video. So I, I didn't do hers like I do everybody else's. But I know she's the most scandalous person. And I'm telling you, if I had time, I would do her again. But right now I can't do her again because I've already done her. Hold on. But, 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 but. If I can get some time, I swear to God, I will make her a video on her own because it was not fair that I did not give her a video by herself. I get that. I understand that. I understand. But I will if I have time. Fred Astaire. Okay. Okay, Angelique. Betty Davis. Yeah. Lamar Betty Davis. She's coming up soon because I already did Joan Crawford. Oh, you're a Pisces too, Bianca? Yes, I'm a Pisces. So, honey, you know, I feel everything. I feel every single little thing. I feel it. So, I'm, I'm emotional sometimes. Let me see. Donna Summers. She on the list. Ken, go on. I'm not doing Cruella DeVille. I, I don't know, paparazzi. But, I mean, she on the list. But I don't know. I don't know. You got to realize my mom, he said, they said, why come when they said Lena Horn? I didn't say too much. It was nothing about Lena Horn or you or nobody. Y'all got to realize my mind be on a hundred things a minute. So when you say it, I probably just kind of like say, okay, and then move on. But it's, it's no reason for it. But she is on the list. Thank you. Thank you, Chaos. The cash app is dollar sign. Ashley says so 20. Dollar sign, Ashley, and then says, and then so, 20. Let me see here. Pisces gang. Yep, Pisces gang. That's it. Oh, a Scorpio. I didn't know that. Okay. Nicki Minaj ain't old. Uh-uh. We ain't finna do her. I do dead and living people, but I would rather, Tisha, I do both, but I would rather do dead people. And mindless, no, I'm not doing Nicki Minaj. She ain't old. She ain't old enough. She's still new. Thank you, Black Cougar. Thank you so much. Okay, hold on. Hold on, I can't see. The casting couch. Ooh, it's a couple of folks on the casting couch, wasn't it? I, I, I can't do an episode called The Casting Couch and call them out, though, Kevin. I can't do that. That's too messy. But when I get to their episodes, I definitely will mention if they were part of The Casting Couch. Oh, I see. It's a lot of Pisces here. Hey, y'all. Hey, Pisces. Howling Wolf. Let me see here. Okay. All right. All right. Hold on. Let me see. Okay. Is there, I'm about to get ready to go because I got to start working on Earth the Kid, y'all. Y'all got any questions for me, though? Ooh, Tracy. Hold on. Right before I got off, here come Tracy trying to be messy. Baby, Tracy Summers then got on here talking about some. I like when you try to sing. Tracy, what's that supposed to mean? Tracy then got on here talking about, I like when you try to sing. Try? Tracy, I be singing, girl. Now, shucks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, she, she gonna put try on there. Girl, these folks, that's what I'm saying. It be shade. It be shade. I'm serious. <laughs> Tracy said try. <laughs> Messy. But then they be doing the so shade, tree. You know what I'm saying? I be catching it. Now, shucks. <laughs> I sure. Okay, here we go. No, you cannot pay me. Mindless, I'm not going to take no money for that. I'm not going to take no money for that. You ain't going to pay me. That. And by the way, Tracy, I'm just playing. I'm just playing, Tracy. But anyways, Mindless, I'm not going to I'm not gonna take no money to do that. She's just not older. She's just not old enough. Let me see here. Yes, the backhand shade is real. But I'm playing, Tracy. But thank you, though. She, she, I'm playing. I, it ain't nothing against you. Well, you know about my personality. You know I'm playing. But let me see here. Ken, I'm not, Ken, I ain't paying attention to you talking about the Virgin Mary. I'm not paying attention to you. Because she's one of the ones that they be talking about too. I'm not doing it. Ooh, Robert Johnson, yep. Ken, Ken is a, he is a troll, but but we love him here. We, we mess, he messes with us, we mess with him. But he is definitely the Ashley says so troll. He is, he is that. 
can. Yes, she was a virgin. That's what the Bible said. I don't have nothing else to say about that. That's what the Bible said. So come on, let's move on. Let's see here. Oh, you're an Aquarius. Robert Johnson. Yeah, his death was really just, uh. Ooh, here come, ooh, Mark, Mark. Is it Mark K or Marky? Because he, you, you sitting up there trying to be uh, messy too. <laughs> you said you are too with two kids. Well then, if that's the case, I am too. I, Shauna, I got to find that CD. I think I still have that CD somewhere, but I have to find it. But listen, ooh, ooh, if I do find it, I'm going to play it for y'all. Oh my gosh, y'all are going to be tickled. Y'all are going to be tickled. So I'm going to play it for y'all if I do if I do find it. But um, anyway, listen, y'all got any more questions? I'm going to go. Hey, Courtney, I'm going to have to go. I got to work on Earth the Kid. Y'all got any more questions before I go? Thank you, Devin. Thank you so much. I'm going to play it if I find it. Okay, let's see. I'm getting last questions. Charlie Chaplin. Yes, yeah, Samantha. He's 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 been up. He's coming. What's your wait? Oh, that's your video request. Be quiet. Okay, take care. Hold on. Love you. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's your video request. I got you. That face. I love it. Which face? I wonder what face I'll be making. But anyway, I ain't finna get caught up with y'all. Okay, I'm finna go. I love y'all. Bye, y'all. I got to get to work. Bye.